Sure is quiet around here. What's going on, everybody? I'll probably uh, expand on to doing some more different content pretty soon. What with this uh, content dry spell and all over in uh, the King Cobra world. There's plenty more to get into while we wait for that. But uh, in the meantime, thought I would knock out another quick Cobra react. People seem to enjoy uh, taking a look back at uh, one of the burritos from his whole burrito era like a year ago or something. I think I checked out some of them back then at some point, but there's still some I missed. So uh, today we're checking out, I'll actually find it on his channel. I don't know if I'm going to find it. It's Asian chimichanga. He's making in three different parts. Seemed absolutely wacky. Like there's like ramen and egg rolls in it. Probably a million toothpicks. Let's see. Oh, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Okay, there's one... There's another, uh, yeah, Asian chimichanga. There's a bunch of other gross ones. You sure did make a lot of them. Okay, oh, let's see what this goofball got into. Take it away. What up, YouTube? So I microwaved these two tortilla Ooh, shells loud. for one minute. Got them nice and pliable. A minute feels like way too long to microwave some tortillas, but let them cook. Then I cooked up four, one whole pack of these egg rolls. And I stuck them on there. Okay. With the egg roll sauce. We got some ramen noodles. My fan Great has start. Some of, some of these uh, spicy ramen noodles. You just like this ramen because it's got an of age girl on it. I microwaved up the Who noodles. Who is not related? Really cooked. I hit it with a little bit of that country crock original, and I mic finished microwaving it. And then, of course, he put country crock in some ramen. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, before I did that, I took them out. I drained the pasta water. Put it back in the microwave, hit it with some butter. I put Hell the seasoning yeah. packets in there. One of them's that red seasoning. The other uh, the seasoning packet with ramen, it's definitely just supposed to, like, make a broth, right? Unless this one, like, happens to be different. Okay, I'm good. Like, this is gonna be pretty potent, because usually it's watered down. The, the funky-looking seasoning right there. We also got some fish to put on here. Oh, dear. So we just got all the ramen noodles. This is going to be a lot of salt for the boy. Hard-boiled eggs to throw on here. Ah, uh, yes. Hard-boiled eggs. So we're trying to roll a burrito. For some reason, you're also really into hard-boiled eggs around this time. Wow, that's a pretty dirty-looking floor, brother. Before we do that, this uh, Asian-themed ramen noodle burrito. Yeah, you could tell this was supposed to be added to water by how there's, like, freeze-dried herbs and stuff. These ramen noodles are supposed to be really freaking spicy, dude. You're a spicy lover. And he's having it concentrated. Yeah, I don't like the way these Doritos are looking at me. I think they might get involved. Our sauces, we're going to be adding some of that wet wizard green sauce. That's what they call me. And a couple of our uh, pork egg rolls. We got some honey barbecue. We're going to add some Doritos. Naturally, some sure. For it too. I'm going to add the fish. So let's just get these uh, ramen noodles stirred up. Hmm. The cheese I'll be using is from the uh, Lucren, Lucrain, tomato, tomato, however you pronounce it. The, the war in Lucrain, please support. Rustic cuts. Ah, uh, yes, the Asian food staple, a shredded cheese blend. All right, I get the idea here, brother. Let's just stir it up. Got our egg rolls on there. I got plenty of room for other side to roll it, so we don't want to overstuff it. Uh, it seems Fresh pretty full to me. Rolls. Those clacking rings. That's how we do that. Cobra's magic. These spicy ramen noodles. Just dump right the whole the bowl. Of our egg rolls. What are we being all quaint for? I'm gonna overstuff it. I'm gonna just set the camera down do and it? make this easier for me to uh, build this burrito. He's quaking. You need the whole the whole bowl of noodles, just like maybe half of it. You have the other half Thank like you. a little snack. That's yeah, good. I, I, I need all this information for when I obviously make this myself, yeah. I've been liking these uh, chimichangas that I make. I'm trying to get better at rolling them. He can't decide what to call these chimichangas or burritos. I forget the difference, uh, honestly. Well, eventually. One little oh, oh, I think it was a chimichanga because he like, pours a bunch of sauce on it after. Got left right there. Perfect amount of noodles. Perfect. Our ramen noodles are on there. My ramen so burrito. Sad. The salt in this bad boy. Here, we're gonna add some uh, smoked boneless herring fill. Some herring fill. Why do you say it like he's mad? Yeah, some canned fish. Sprinkle Ew. a little bit of the herring juice on top, oh. just like that. <laughs> 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 
These are all strange and exotic ingredients oh, for the most part. Man. My fans sent me through the care package. Are you sure they weren't packed in just like water? This. My fans sent me some spicy ramen noodles to try. As well as some canned fish goods. Oh, I love me some canned fish. Okay. Do we need the whole can? Probably not. Stinky. These are boneless, so we'll just go ahead and stick them in there. There we go. Let's try some of these, uh, this fish. Ew, ew. oh my god, he's just sucking it down. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Ew. Herring fillets. Oh, Delicious. Fillets! Oh my god, this keeps getting better. Mm. All right, so now we're going to add... Uh, some sauce, then we're gonna add our chips and our cheese, and then we're gonna try to roll it. The, the wet wizard sauce? We're add some of this, uh, wet wizard Lost Roast Verde hot sauce. Okay, it's a Verde Dominale. hot sauce. I was like, I have no idea what this could be. Uh, beautiful. Wow, it's gotta be spicy. Get a nice fat line of that green Whoa. stuff. That didn't sound appropriate <laughs> now we're gonna add a little bit of our barbecue sauce naturally barbecue to kind of complement those uh pork rolls beautiful mm. Mm -hmm. you now, can't contain all that moisture two more ingredients some cheese and some doritos and i'm going to attempt to roll it we got some of this mexican style four cheese blend rustic <laughs> cut Oh, I get it. It's a fusion. It's an Asian uh, Mexican fusion. Over that in the middle with our hard boiled eggs and some burritos. I got it. I got it. And we should be set. He's struggling with the cheese a little bit. God damn it! What's he doing? God. Brother, it's just a bag of cheese. I don't want to put too much more on top because we're still going to roll this. What is he doing? It's just enough to... Uh, <laughs> Family size. Put some of that cheese on top. A little bit of cheese. Because remember, when I do these chimichangas, I like to uh, get it to where it's almost completely chimichanga-fied. And then I'll take... What does that mean? Some of this cheese and some of the chips that I put in the middle and just sprinkle it. I guess he likes for it to be brimming. On top and then bake the cheese into the shell with the Doritos. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yes. It's a nice little nice little layer of cheese on top. You don't gotta be pretty. Yes. Just gotta, hopefully this rolls. Yes. The secret to rolling a good burrito, you want to give yourself plenty of room. Like Which he never sides, does. On the other side, here, 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 and here when you tuck it. You see, make, instead of making this giant thing, why doesn't he just make a bunch of little ones? So we might not have enough room for the uh, hard-boiled eggs. Oh my god, we gotta cancel the hard-boiled eggs? You're kidding me. Sorry, that was me. Grab our nacho cheese Doritos. Oh? Are, oh, they are getting involved, the Doritos. There you Crush go. Them up. And you, think you think he ever washes his hands after he crunches up the Doritos? Sprinkle it. Because that's what's up. Oh, no, he nice. sucks his fingers. He sucks his fingers instead, obviously. I'll do one more little painful layer in the middle. Of the Doritos? fighting with him. He's got quite the technique. He's a chef. Now I want to take some hard-boiled egg. And, uh, you know, we'll just take that hard-boiled egg. I want to slice it up Sends into, the into burrito slices. Okay, the egg. Okay, we're making room for the egg. Okay, the got it. Egg I'm just going to make it happen. Complement the uh, ramen noodles. I'm going to try to take Boy needs his protein. all this and roll it into a burrito here. Yeah, just enough egg. Put some on top. You'd think this uh, chimichanga would have, like, I don't know, some rice, some beans. Yeah, right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Guess not the Asian style one. So there Should have rice, have though. That's all the ingredients we're putting on the burrito. That looks pretty. That's all we're putting in it. We gotta see what happens after. How do we Grab me a glass of water and put the Doritos up? How do we sew this sucker shut? Or to the side at least, because we don't need them 
just yet. I am going to try to buy this ramen noodle by itself to see how spicy it really is. Oh, I love how he's doing this after he made the about. whole thing. Well, something to snack on while I wait for the burrito to finish. <laughs> yeah, you need an appetizer. That's got to be so much spicy it really is. concentrated salt. <clears throat> ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's doable. <clears throat> that is at a heat I can respect. Not too spicy, but it's there. I don't know. He seemed, my <laughs> he seemed to shudder a little bit. That's the spicy food. It's the stuff of legends. Oh. Yo, that's got a little bit of bite to it, dog. I ain't gonna stunt with you. Oh, okay. He's starting to weaken his confidence here. I could have ordered some more alcohol, but I wanted to do a cooking video instead, so I'll just wait on that. Oh, wow. He chose to uh, serve us with a chimichanga video instead of <laughs> drinking again. Mm. How considerate. Oh, boy. Here comes the st most stressful part about making these chimichangas big. Oh, wrapping it up. He always stresses about that. With, like, one burrito shell if you can. But this is YouTube, so you know how that goes. You know, then ramen noodles got a little it's, stank it's on It's true, you do have to put on a show for YouTube. On YouTube. They got some Not stank on them. At all. I think a lot of stuff here has some stank on it. No, you don't. Oh, God, he's, it's already ripping. I, it's definitely, the one minute in the microwave is definitely too long for the tortilla. <laughs> Right. You know, watching me roll these is always fun. Gonna dry it up. Just put more uh, tortillas on top. That's all you gotta do. And squish it together. Oh, this is always the most nerve-wracking part about making these giant chimichangas. It doesn't They're have brilliant. to be. If you just use enough tortilla, it's it's falling apart. No, it's all spilling out. Yeah, we're gonna need more shells for that. It's so blew I, out. I rolled in the big old holes in the middle of it. Damn. <sighs> Who could have seen this coming? So my. It is what it is. So grab some more of our mission flour tortilla burrito shells. Mission. But I mean, I got it kind of rolled, so like, you know, two more tortilla shells should take care of it. In theory. That's just on top, just... And again, I am cover. no expert at rolling burritos, I just, I know the technique. I overstuffed it, but it is what it is. Every time. He knows the technique, he just never implements it. Pop these two tortilla shells in the microwave. Oh, okay. For less than a minute, get them nice and soft. And then we're gonna very delicately try to wrap, like, yeah, this mm -mm, little chimichanga and ramen noodle. They're actually poking out. I don't think so. He's not standing for it. This chimichanga is getting some diapers on it. Better at rolling these giant burritos one day. They taste really good, and if you don't do a deep fryer, you know, smother your tortilla shell in uh, mm, in butter or like the country crock butter spread. I love his confidence that if he had a deep fryer, he would be able to deep fry this. And hit it with some seasoning, and then you throw it in the oven and bake it like I've been doing. After the French fry incident. And it makes them look good, and it makes them taste good. So give it about a minute. You know, when it gets down to like 48, 47 seconds, it should be soft enough. Oh, man. Like left on the thing, or? But look at this. We got a ramen noodle egg roll stuffed burrito. You cannot tell me that that, that doesn't look dank. I'd give it a try. It's got like a... Uh, oh, I got the camera turned around the wrong whatever way. Whatever roll, spring that? roll. You're not doing the rest of the video like this. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. So that's I had the crazy. Camera facing the wrong way the whole time. Well, that's just fantastic. What is he talking about? Oh, because he just uploads directly, like, from his yeah, phone. Yeah, stuffed it with the ramen noodles so he, all the sauces. So he needs to figure out how to deal with this. Hopefully the whole video wasn't like this. My God. My life. Hot. No kidding. You microwaved it for a minute. Got a little diaper on one side. Got a little diaper on the other side. 
the whole burrito is falling apart. Oh, I want to punch myself, but that won't solve anything. Oh so my we're gonna God. breathe. Don't you yeah, don't Breathing punch yourself. In and out. What are you, Captain Jessica? Captain Hindsight says you should have added more burrito shells. You stupid, useless sack. That's all getting cut out. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna have to use them goddamn chef's toothpicks again. Of course, of course. Son I, of a I, I didn't even know that was like up in the air. I just assumed we were using toothpicks. Bitch. Paper towel. <sighs> like, geez, Cobra, your first cooking video. <laughs> first time? What are you new at this? It'll turn out fine. Just didn't didn't roll like I hoped it was gonna roll. That's usually how it goes when you're cooking. Okay, there we go. Porcupine mode. Yeah, I did the best I could, you know. I'm still learning as a cook. So I can't be too hard on myself. Just take it a day at a time. But I will, I and mean, nobody can stop me. Get those diapers pinned up nice. <sighs> Boy's struggling. My God. I think you got it. I can't imagine more than like six, like possibly helping at all. Like, <laughs> I think you got it. What is gonna happen? He's very thorough. You should just leave him in. Oh, we good crunch. Now, by the time that gets done baking up in the oven to chimichanga status, when, when it's just about done... Now, surely he's going to massage this with some crunchy crock, right? I'll pull out all the toothpicks, and by the time I get to that stage, it'll have chimichanga onto itself long enough that it's, it won't matter if my rolling skills are... What is... The, I don't understand the, the chimichanga as a verb. He calls himself a pothead, but his rolling oh. skills suck. Here we go. Not the kind of rolling we're talking about, you silly goose. <laughs> now You're a silly some goose. Now we get flavor on this chimichanga before we bake it in the oven. I like how we're we was... get all these toothpicks in there. Then he's like, now time to massage some, it. Uh, country crock. Spread. Put a little bit on top of our... Jessica doesn't like the country crock. Manga. She said it's yeah, basically smear plastic. The, the butter all over... This is actually a country crock butter spread. Hell yeah. It's not actual <laughs> butter. It's basically a margarine. But I mean, I don't eat it. Eh, who cares? Potato, potato. What do I get? I get like some like, like Land O'Lakes plant-based or something. I don't know. Okay. It's... it's, it's the rest will just kind of soak in there, you know, once One it starts day, melting. I will no longer require too many of these chef's toothpicks. Chef's toothpicks. Not any toothpick. You yeah, should just tie the whole the thing up this with some string. Some that, uh... What is it? There it is. What's he looking for? Some garlic powder. So right on top of that. Now explain the garlic powder um, thoughts here. That's just going to all burn up. No? That's just going to be a crust, a charred crust. I don't know why it's got to go on top like that. Just like that. Now we're going to throw it into the oven. Part two will come I like back. how <laughs> I like how the uh, garlic powder stuck to the uh, country crocked uh, toothpicks. A little breading. Part two... With me taking it and putting all the cheese on top. Ah, uh, yes, the next layer. 350 degrees, low and slow. Got all the toothpicks out. I'm gonna hit it with some of this sauce. Okay, it's all out. Shell, some cheese and Doritos in that order. 
Okay, so we're just taking all the stuff that was on the inside and putting it on the outside as well. Slam Sounds it back good. In the oven. Might as well just put some uh, egg rolls and ramen on top a wet too. Wet wizard. Wet wizard. There you go. Taco Bell could never. Some rustic cuts, four cheese, Mexican blends. More Lucrane. You know, this chimichanga has some like Asian influenced ingredients in it. Some, I suppose. Yep. Oh God. But first, you gotta let it sit out overnight. Let the bugs have their share, and then, then we'll get into it after. Adding a little bit of that hot sauce to our chimichanga shell on top. To bake it into their mm -hmm. bacon on there. I mean, is it is he baking it on there, or is he putting bacon on there? I think he's baking it on there. I haven't heard anything else about bacon at this point. That's looking pretty thoroughly cooked there. I see some very toasty bits. It's pretty well toasted all on the outside. I can't imagine it being more cooked than that. You've maxed out the uh, the toast on this, these tortillas. Oh, oh, some more Doritos, naturally. Top it off. Nacho cheese Doritos. No ranch? No ranch for this bad boy? If you want, I don't care. But you gotta put some Doritos on top of your goddamn cheese. On top of your goddamn burrito. Maybe a Bud Light Platinum while we're at it? That sounds pretty good. Just, just give it a little moisture. He's got quite the technique with the Doritos. Very interesting. Doesn't that hurt your hand at some point? Oh, oh right on his shirt. And pants, probably, wiping it off on there. You would have thought he just licks his hands. Very interesting technique. Seems to be working pretty well. It's pretty well crushed. Back into the oven it goes. <laughs> Does it really need it? You got a broiler to get to real quick? What a dude, That's what's left okay. of the chimich. And he ate it. He ate it off camera. Changa ain't gonna lie, yo. That Asian chimichanga burrito I made, it turned out just as good as all the others that I've been making. So the method to making it works. But what happened to all the Doritos that were on top? Well, like I said, I'm just trying to get better at rolling them. He ate it. Uh, he ate the whole thing. Uh, egg rolls into a giant chimichanga. Yeah, I'd recommend it. But last night, I got a little drunk. <laughs> yeah, I'd recommend it. I melted some more cheese in the bowl and then just, oh. like, drizzled it on top of it. Oh, but okay, that explains it why there's an extra layer of cheese on top now. Okay. I already had melted cheese on top to begin with. Made it extra delicious. I like making these giant chimichangas. That uh, Asian burrito I made with the, uh, the ramen noodles. Here's what's left of it. I lost the footage of me trying it for the first time, and, uh, <laughs> you know what's good when, uh, this is all I got left of it. <laughs> it must be. I wonder how long it's been at this point. So good, YouTube. I love making these uh, giant chimichangas. I lost the footage of me trying it. But oh, it come on. He tried to record it and just lost it? How does he just lose and, uh, it? Golden brown and crispy perfect, just like all the other ones that I've been making on my channel. You can't really tell much by the ingredients, but there's a chunk of that, uh... <laughs> Hard-boiled egg. A little bit of that uh, egg roll action on the side there. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's all in there. I love making these giant chimichangas. That's so many layers. Yes, ma'am. Mm. So tasty. It all just looks so dry. Tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Mm. You too. Oh my god, that good? Put <laughs> that was the point of that? Your chimichanga so good. I'll try it, I'll try it. Last couple of days, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, okay, so it's been several days. Interesting. <laughs> wow, that was uh, more eventful than I thought it would be. I really thought it was just gonna be one of those, like, tired cooking videos that he does from time to time, where it's like, hey, what's up, tubes? You gonna get your Doritos crunched up in there? It's what's up? But no, he was into it. He was vibing. Wow. 
I wonder if we're still going to get food hacks like this in the new place. You think he's got a good kitchen? I'm going to have to see, hopefully soon. But uh, all right, you thinking about trying this for yourself? Honestly, if I had some like spring rolls or something, a tortilla on hand, I'd, I maybe I'd give it a shot. I feel like it's just like a lot going on. Maybe if you got like a good sauce to put in between them or something. Maybe like mac and cheese sauce, imagine. But uh, yep, that's it. For that one, thanks for hanging, and I'll see you for the next one. Let me know what kind of stuff you'd like to see. Bye-bye. At the end of the day.